Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Hoster. I'm a staff member in the admissions office at the College of Engineering and Computer Science here at Syracuse University. And we're very excited and grateful that you're interested in learning more about the opportunities that Syracuse offers in engineering and computer science. We've assembled a great team of some of our best and brightest students to give you a look inside our laboratory and give you an idea of the exciting hands-on experiences you would have inside and outside the classroom as an engineering or computer science student here at Syracuse. Enjoy the tour. Hello everyone, my name is Dana Chia. I'm currently a senior taking up computer engineering at Syracuse University. Currently we are in a very primary computer science lab and this is where you will be taking your um, introduction to uh, programming. Usually this is where you begin your team building exercises. So primarily you'll be working with um, a, in a pair or in a group with other students. So this usually helps when you are actually going into your junior and senior design projects if you are an electrical or computer engineering major. So now here we are, we are in the electrical and computer engineering labs. This is usually where upperclassmen take their junior and senior design projects. So here, this is an example of where we begin integrating um, software and hardware components and we begin learning how microcontrollers and processors work. For example, we use FPGA, an FPGA microcontroller or we can also substitute it for either an Arduino or Raspberry Pi. So these are, these are just a couple of examples of where we develop a deeper understanding in how these systems work. Particularly in Junior um, Design Lab, this is where you begin utilizing your prototyping skills. So you use all of the um, projects and labs that you've learned from, from your um, sophomore year and try to develop something of your own. Now the difference between junior and senior design lab is that senior design lab in, um, involves a lot more complex hardware systems and as well as software. And not only that, but you will be working with the same group for the entire year. And usually you try to come up with a, um, a demonstration by the end of the year and try to present these during the ECS Open House event where you will present your project in front of prospective students. From my freshman year to my senior year, everything has been completely hands-on. So uh, a lot of these labs have been incredibly helpful for me in learning skills involving soldering, 3D printing, um, and using the Syracuse machine shop. So all of these facilities are open for use and everyone is always open to helping you. Hi again, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the tour and we're excited to learn about the hands-on opportunities inside the laboratories here at Syracuse University. We look forward to connecting with you during one of our live virtual sessions. We have info sessions where you can connect with us from the admissions office. You can connect with our current students and connect with our professors to talk more about your interests as well as the opportunities here and how Syracuse could be a great fit for you for your education in engineering and computer science. We hope to connect with you soon. Go Orange!